Today, we're gonna to talk about coding project ideas for beginners. What we see here at CoderFan is a lot of reasons why people don't get development jobs. And one of the main reasons we see is the lack of projects on their portfolio or the projects they do put on there are kind of weak. And I'm gonna show you these projects here and how we can make some of them really simple, but how we can turn those into a portfolio worthy project that you can show off and be proud of when you go to an interview. These are gonna be websites. So if your current apps are just console apps, that's technically, and what I'm telling you is it's not good enough. And so we need to turn those into websites. Now websites gonna have several pages on it. The first page you need to make is a landing page for each of your projects. And also go ahead and give it a brand, like get a logo, name it something different, be a little bit creative on that landing page. The second page you need to put together is a UI around your project. So even if you're just reversing a string, allow the user to enter in some characters, hit a button and see the result. Allow them to experiment with your UI, regardless of how simple the project really is. The third page that we like to see here at Coder Foundry is adding a page that can display the code inside the app. Now we're using Prism JS to allow us to have our code displayed in a very attractive way. And the other page that we wanna see is adding it a link to your repo. This is the actual code that you use to create this project. And the final link would be linking back into your portfolio. So if you put all of those things together, you can take even the simplest project and turn it into a portfolio worthy item. And that's what we're looking for. We want something that will impress the employers so that you can get that first interview request. And that gives you the opportunity to interview for a job and land it. Let's look at the projects that we think every developer in the beginning should make. Now, one of the projects we think every developer should build, especially in the early stages, is FizzBuzz. You might ask why? Well, to this day, FizzBuzz is a very popular interview question and people are asking it so you can get that first software job. So FizzBuzz is an application, it's pretty simple. It prints the numbers between one and 100. But if the, if the number is a multiple of three, instead of printing the number, print the word Fizz. If it's a multiple of five, print the word Buzz. And if it's a multiple of both, print the words fizz buzz. Now we can take this to the next level by allowing the user to input numbers other than three and five. So you take a UI on the page, allow me to enter any number and change where fizz and buzz and fizz buzz are printed. The other thing you can do is change the length of the numbers that are sent out. So currently they ask you to do numbers between one and 100, but you could do one and 50 or one and 25 or one and a thousand. And so those are four parameters you could add to FizzBuzz to vary it up a little bit so that the user can come in and experiment with your application. And it still does the basic thing. So make a FizzBuzz app, but just take it a little bit to the next level on the UI side. People are still asking it. And what better way to answer an interview question is with a demo. Now, the next app that we think everyone should build is the Mortgage Calc app. Now, Mortgage Calc apps allows you to calculate a loan, like for a car loan or a or house mortgage. And what this app should do is print out an amortization schedule, which is a list of the payments from the first payment till the loan is paid off. And inside that, we're gonna see how much does the payment cost? What is the interest on that payment? And what is the principal on that payment? And those two things together make your payment and you subtract those over the, the life of the loan to get to zero eventually when you pay your loan off. Now, you're probably asking, why should we build this app? What's so special about this app? Well, it solves one of our core tenets we think every good project should have is that it solves a business problem and a very identifiable business problem. Meaning, if you're interviewing somewhere, that hiring manager more than likely has a car loan or a mortgage loan, or they've had one in the past. And so they can enter that information in and easily validate that your app is working. And make no mistake, if you build an application that someone can easily validate and it works, it gives you massive credibility. And people that see things work assume great things about the programmer that built it. So build the Mortgage Calculator app, add it to your portfolio. It's simple enough to build, but it shows so well during an interview. So another app that we think every developer should build is a palindrome checker. Now, the reason we do this is because um, at the time of the recording, last week we had someone ask this question during the interview. So this remains extremely popular among inter interviewers 
to see if you can build a palindrome tracker. Now, the first thing you should do is brand this. And we've branded ours here at Coda Founded Taco Cat because Taco Cat is a palindrome. And a palindrome is a word that is spelled the same way forwards as it is backwards. And so this is a very simple app built around reversing a string and checking the result that you can build. But if you put a little um, extra features to it, it can make it better than your ordinary um, palindrome checker. For example, you can check for spaces or special characters and remove those before the check because a lot of palindromes are phrases. And so you want to be able to not only check for words, but also phrases. And that means you're going to have to remove spaces and um, special characters out of the string before you check to see if it's a palindrome. The next app we think everyone should build is a weather mashup. Now we've seen lots of weather apps for being a really good project and it is in and by itself because a weather app is kind of useful. You can type in your own city, your own zip code, your own location and get the weather where you're at and it's easily validatable. But why don't we take that another step and i haven't seen this done many times and this is why we recommend it is instead of building a weather app we want you to build a weather app mashup and we're going to take three apis that we can use first we need a we need a weather api that actually gives us the weather the second thing we're going to do is bring in the the api from unsplash and unsplash is an image provider and what i want you to do there is take an image that matches the current weather so if it's raining show a rain image if it's sunny show a sunny image. The other one is you could also bring in something like Spotify and play music based on the weather. So if it's raining, you could play purple rain. If it's sunny, you could have a song that talks about it's a sunny day. Now stretch goal for the weather mashup is turn it into a Chrome extension and publish it. This means that anyone could be using your app. And uh, in fact, maybe you're going in for an interview and the boss has already installed your weather Chrome mashup, didn't realize you're the author of it. And so that's pretty neat. So I think you can try to push this out as a Chrome extension and bring notoriety to yourself, but also now you have something in production and that's very powerful during the interview situation. Now, the easiest project we probably have in our list here is the Linktree clone. Now, Linktree clone is just a list of links presented nicely on a page, typically as buttons. So it's just a row of buttons with all the links um, to your social. So you'd have an Instagram button, a YouTube button, a Twitter button, a, a LinkedIn button. And what you want to do, the main thing it needs to do is show well on mobile and desktop. So this has to be a very responsive built website that you use for your links. Now, it doesn't have to be where anyone can make links, but that is a stretch goal. And you could add that to it to where anyone could come in and use a website to generate their own Linktree clones. This is a very cool app that you can use not only to gather attention for yourself, but also show off your design skills and making sure that it's responsive and looks great on that mobile device as well as a desktop. Now, the most complex app we have in this list is the Movie Trivia app. And now what we want you to do here is use something like the TMDB or the Movie Database API to bring back posters from movies and then come up with movie trivia. Now, this could be when was this movie released? Or you could come up with several movies, put these three movies in order of release or order by box office. And all this information is available on the Movie Database API. Now, building a convincing UI is important here. And so that it really plays and it's fun to play and you have a lot of inter interactivity on the front end. So look at some other movie trivia apps and kind of mimic or take cues from their design and build it into your own. Now, what you can do here is also add war, uh, local storage here and local storage allows the user to save their success maybe how many um, questions they've answered so they have a little user account and it's stored locally on their device and you're probably thinking why don't you just add a database well what we want to do here is build something that's pretty simple and so we're going to use html css and javascript um, combined with local storage to give that interactivity like it was a database and you're probably thinking is that too simple well Think of the game Wordle. Wordle was bought by the New York Times for the low seven figures. Now, if you're doing math at home, that's over a million dollars and it was totally built with JavaScript 
and local storage. So if it's good enough for Wordle, it's probably good enough for a movie trivia game. So that's our six web applications for beginners. And I think you could start with the Linktree clone and work all the way through the movie trivia app. I believe that you can build these if you put enough time and effort and research into them and you can put them on your portfolio and they're gonna show well. Anyway, I hope this helps. Good luck and keep coding.